Hey, ScareFest fans this week, it's Joe Lewis, whose hair is a little goofy for some odd reason, here to talk about a new movie, a new horror film that's on Netflix called Run, Run, Rabbit, Run, Run, Rabbit, Run. It's an Australian film written by women, directed by women, starring women. And I like that part of it. I like the mood of it. I like the acting. It's all well acted, it's directed, lighting. God, it's so boring. <laughs> oh, it's so boring. So basically what it is, is this, this doctor, her and her husband are divorced. She only has the one daughter who's turning seven. And she starts asking about her grandmother. And she clearly doesn't want to have anything to do with her grandmother. And her dad, the main character's dad, the little girl's grandfather has just passed away and something's going on with the girl because she's starting to ask questions about people she didn't know. Apparently the, the mother had a sister when she was younger and she didn't know her and she disappeared and it strained the relationship between her and her mother. So they don't talk because I guess they were playing together and she got blamed for it and she never came back and her mom has waited Till now she's just crazy or has dementia in a home and it's just waited around looking, waiting for a daughter to show back up, which I kind of completely understand. And now this lady is having problems with because her daughter's asking questions about her dead sister that she shouldn't know about or the other lady's dead sister. It's kind of convoluted. And it's it's these new horror films where they don't have any money. They want to do all mood and atmosphere. And I get that. I mean, that, that horror films are about that. But you got to make them interesting. You got to make them compelling. And this took me three nights to get through this. Is it awful? No, it's it's well made. It just I just don't care. I don't care about anybody in the movie. It gets boring to me. Uh, there's nothing that makes you... It's not compelling, right? Like, And then you figure out, oh, towards the end of it, spoiler alert, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I don't care. That basically she was mean to her little sister. She ended up hurting her and then pushed her off a cliff. And is the ghost coming back after her daughter? Who knows? It doesn't. It's just so, so just up here, metaphysical. And you can have a movie like that, but it needs to be more interesting than this. This to me is a great example of what I see a lot of horror films today. This could have been a Twilight Zone. This could have been a 30-minute show. It did not need to be an hour and 40 minutes. So Run, Rabbit, Run on Netflix. I do not recommend it. It's not a terrible movie. It is very well acted, but it is boring as hell and uninteresting. So do not go out and see Run, Rabbit, Run on Netflix 2023's Run, Rabbit, Run from Australia. Sorry, guys. I can't recommend it. This has been Joe Lewis of Bonehead Weekly.